Welcome back, Natalie here, and continuing on, we've got two more chapters left of 31 Reasons You May Not Be Receiving Your Financial Harvest by Mike Murdoch. Uh, amazing lessons from the Bible about how to reap a greater financial harvest and just create more financial abundance in your life. So today's uh, chapter is, Many Refuse to Sow Proportionate to the Harvest They Desire. So like I've explained before, sowing is what you're giving out into the world and r your harvest that you are reaping is what you get back in return. So it's important to, to give um, in every way that you can. Give with a smile and give with amazing words through helping others, right? We just wanna be good people. But it's also important to give financially. Um, and in the Bible, God asks for 10% giving 10% of your income to those in need, the poor, the sick, the widowed, um, the people that really need it, you know. And by doing that, you can reap your financial harvest in return. It allows that, that wonderful energy of giving to go around. And God put this in the Bible to prevent us from being greedy. <laughs> because if you're giving 10% of your income off the top, it's difficult then to be greedy with your, with your money, right? Um, so it allows for abundance to thrive and to really grow in your life. But it's also important to keep in mind that if you're asking for a large financial um, growth in your life, then you need to be giving in proportion to that as well. In the Bible, God talks about 10%. Um, but if you want more, you, you know, you may need to give more or maybe you can't give 10% right now but even if you start with one two three five percent something is better than nothing especially if you've never given before it does need to be on a regular basis and it does need to be something consistent it's not just a one time and then you're like oh it didn't work <laughs> right um, but Mike Murdoch talked about a great story in here that uh, at one of his sermons a woman came up to him afterwards and she wanted she said that she was going to sow a seed to have a million dollars within one year. She gave it 12 months. She asked God for a million dollars and she put money in his hand and walked away. And then he opened his hand and there was a dollar. <laughs> and not to say that it wouldn't work. I mean, in the Bible, God says he will increase your abundance a hundredfold. It's entirely impossible to have you know, tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. It's, it's not impossible at all. Um, and if you believe and you work for it, then yeah, of course it can come to you, right? Um, but there is an importance of, of giving in proportion to what you're asking for in return. If you want a lot of abundance in your life, you should be giving a lot of abundance to other people. You need to be kind, not only to yourself, but to every other person. Give of your time, give of your heart, and in whatever capacity you feel is best for you. It should be in a way that you are utilizing your gifts that God has given you to help others in return. So, um, you know, even if you have a small seed, a small seed is something to start with. You know, it, this, the size of how much you give to the world um, in the long run isn't important. But as you ask for more and more, you should be giving more and more. So start with what you've got and then grow that. You know, give a little and you'll reap a little more in return. And then give a little more and you'll reap even more. And it's this back and forth where eventually you get to the point where you have massive abundance in your life and you've learned to give so much in so many ways that everything in life is abundant. Um, and that's really what God wants for us. So... Um, you only have faith to call in what you're willing to put out. <laughs> so if you're asking for a million, but not you wouldn't ever be willing to put out a million, then you may not be re reaping that in return. You know, if you're willing one day to put out, you know, a hundred thousand in order to reap a million, that's, that's really the 10%, right? So you have to be able and willing to know that, hey, once I get to that point, I would be comfortable giving that kind of ratio. It wouldn't be a big deal at that point. So that just goes to show a little bit about, you know, reaping and sowing and, and how 
giving in proportion to what you're asking for in return is extremely important. And that might be one of the reasons um, why you haven't been receiving your financial harvest, you know. Um, and you have to give with a good heart, too. You know, you can't give grudgingly, <laughs> you know, give give 10 percent of your income and you're pissed off about it all the time. Um, it just doesn't work that way. Or, you know, oh, be nice to people, but on the inside, you're really angry and you don't want to be nice to people. But it, it doesn't work that way. The energy that you put out is the energy that you return. So give wholeheartedly every day of your life in some capacity so that you are reaping wonderful things in return, um, not only with your energy, but with the people around you, the situations, and then also your financial harvest too. So I hope this helped. I hope this uh, gave you some insight on some things you might be needing to change in your life or some things you can improve in order to start to reap more financial harvest. Um, so stay tuned. We've got one more chapter left, which is pretty exciting. Um, please share this, comment, subscribe to my videos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode, the final episode of 31 Reasons You May Not Be Receiving Your Financial Harvest. God bless.